next one I want to talk about is the polar opposite of this like dark, gritty, Unreal Engine powered fantasy. It's Power Rangers. Power Rangers read as rewind. So part of me was like, oh man, another Pixar art brawler. You know, I love those, but they're hard to do right. And there's been a lot of them lately, sort of like preying on nostalgia. Some get it right. Some get it really right, but the ones that don't really don't. But I got to say, this looks pretty darn awesome based on the trailer. Uh, it's a nice mix. Uh, so it is obviously pixel art still, but it's a it's a nice it mix good, of though. gameplay types. Like you're yeah. doing a lot of super scalar style, th- like 3D into the camera stuff. And like it seems like it has yeah. a lot of variety and sort of mixes things up. Plus the actual the art and animation are excellent on the at least on the pixel art i don't really like the animated non-game scenes that they show in the trailer yeah th- those seem those uh, almost out of place they look yeah. cheaper than the game almost yeah the game itself though it it looks legitimately super great like it's it's beautiful pixel art design great animation work and all this all that variety it really comes down to whether they fundamentally understand the pillars of the brawler that i've gone over before uh which is to say that's so that's that's really difficult to pull off because these get these types of games can become repetitive and boring if you don't nail the the core moveset and the core actions like every time you punch something it needs to feel satisfying but there needs to be enough depth to sort of allow that to remain fun throughout and Mm -hmm. uh you know not too many get that right i'm sorry to say but there have been some high profile ones, the recent Turtles game, Final Vendetta, Streets of Rage 4, those are all top tier. And yeah. hopefully this one will be as well. I guess we'll find out soon. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anything to say on it? I'm curious about the music, because the trailer used the Power Rangers theme with like, you know, modern, high quality, real, you know, real singing and real tuned guitars and all that. But will this be chip tune? Like what exactly will the music be in the game? I'm actually curious about that uh, because, you know, you can keep the art style consistent, but how do you keep music st- style consistent with the retro theme? Uh, I'm always curious about that. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, it was announced, actually, the composer for the Power Rangers game. It's Sean Bialo, who worked with T. Lopes on Penny's Big Breakaway. And he also mm. did, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Donut Dodo. Which this sounds silly, but this Sean is up and coming. I'm telling you, listen, his he is going to become one of the one of the best composers that you will know in this industry going forward. So keep an eye on Sean's work. I think what he's Ooh. already demonstrated in the games that he's worked on, it's unbelievably good. So I think this is gonna have an absolutely stunning soundtrack. I mark my words on that. We'll revisit that statement when it comes out later. <laughs> but uh, I can't wait to, to see that. Uh, moving on, a couple more to mention. Uh, I did want to briefly mention Slitterhead because we finally got to see the trailer. And, you know, it has that that name, which is uh, something. So this is, this is actually <laughs> formed by Bokeh Game Studios, which is comprised of creators that previously worked at sony on things such as the siren series which obviously this channels into as well as gravity days slash gravity rush um and they've obviously gone back to the horror aesthetic but the the gameplay looks i gotta admit it looks really interesting and different it seems to amount to this sort of possession system where they're showing people running around these environments and like sort of sending out some sort of like controllable pulse thing that then goes into another character, any random character and possesses them. And there's lots of strange creatures. And I, it's, I, I don't know. Can you guys parse what the heck is going on in this? I don't know. <laughs> it's tough. I, don't, I, I really don't know, John. I had a tra- <laughs> trouble understanding what I was seeing when we were watching Right. Like, I don't know how to, let, well, actually, let me just say that that's actually, a good thing for me because i feel like these days when i watch most video game trailers these days you know hear about it uh i can pretty much guess exactly what the game is going to be the the, how it's going to feel like everything about it i feel like i can just i just know it like intuitively now there's there's not that much in terms of surprise where oh yeah i look at this and it's like it may play good or not good but uh, this is what it's basically going to be and i'm usually right 
Uh, I think you guys can, I think you guys have that same intuition now, right? We've seen enough games where there's not really much left where you look at something like, oh, I wonder what that's going to be. This one is a case where I really can't fully parse what you're going to do in it. And I think that's kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. There's some stuff in here that reminds me of the, I think, 2014 indie game, The Swapper. If you remember that? Dude, yes, I love The Swapper. Yes. Where you're changing between people in the environment and you're using it to solve puzzles and platforming challenges. There's a sequence in this trailer that reminded me a lot of The Swapper, but in a different context in three dimensions, things like this. So, if it's doing some interesting concepts like that game was, I think that was a really brilliant game. This could be a really compelling title, but you know, we'll have to Heck see. Yeah. I can't really tell what type of technology they're running here though. It doesn't really look like typical. It doesn't look like an unreal game. I mean, it could technically be unity, unity maybe, but maybe. I, I'm not even sure about that. It just has a unique yeah. look to it. But unfortunately in the trailer, as it is, the frame rate is very rough and I really hope they can solve that. Mm-hmm. If they if they can't get yeah. it stable, then it should be at least have a have a thirty FPS cap. But uh, as it is, especially cause, wait, it's coming to last gen as well. This I can't imagine that this would launch with such a uh, unstable frame rate on modern machines. On the current gen, then we'll I, see. I would we'll doubt see. it. We'll see. Either way, yeah. in, interesting title. Uh, obviously, their legacy sort of picked my interest to begin with, and then just the gameplay style being so unusual is also interesting. So. I think we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, the last one we wanted to mention was when they first showed the trailer, when the trailer started running, I was like, wait, is this like a ball sack running around <laughs> with the, with pistols? <laughs> That's kind of what it looked like, but no, it's actually a bean. Uh, right. It's, it's right. like a coffee bean? Like a it's coffee like, no, bean? No, it's like, like a garbanzo bean or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, I watched. Uh, we would, I definitely watched okay. it, but I, I thought it was a coffee bean. I maybe I'm bad. I don't know. I don't wait. Is it a like the brown color is very not coffee bean though? Coffee bean is like way darker. Right. This just a, looks a like, good coffee bean would be a dry old. Well, it could be a light piece roast. Of crap. It it's like be. a light roast. Like I mean, <laughs> who knows? It's trying to be sort of this like serious like spy like sort of your your. It's no one lives forever except for you're a bean who can jump through windows. Uh, and it seems to be an indie project. So, I mean, I think they said it was a solo dev. A solo dev. I mean, there's usually yeah. going to be other people involved, but yeah, I'll yeah, be yeah. curious to see exactly what it looks like in terms of credits. But it's super strange. I can't, uh, I, I genuinely can't understand <laughs> this idea. To well, make I mean, <laughs> I mean, if it is solo dev, I don't feel bad. Uh, like, I thought, this reminds me a bit of Goat Simulator, where it's, yeah. like, really edging on, like, oh, this is a meme. Uh, yeah. I'm not a big fan right. of that, but uh, if the gameplay's fine, so I, be it. I think this looks Whatever. a lot more interesting than Goat Simulator, though. Like, there's there seems to be actual, like, shooting mission mechanics, and in a sense, it almost reminded me of Just Cause, but with a giant weird bean as the character. My only real yeah. concern is that when you're playing in third per like the third person perspective, you're always looking at this bean shape and it's just, I, I'm not, there was some first person parts were yeah, there. Yeah, I there's, swear. There's like, well. uh, so I don't know, maybe it changes up depending upon what level you were in or what button you press. It's really hard to tell. There's almost an element to this that reminds you of like, weirdly, I don't know if you guys will share this, but conquer, no, oh, I get like it. A bit of an oh, yeah. action movie thing. Yeah, you're on. right. Like it, some it does have a bit of that stuff. Conquer vibe to it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but wow. old school, but yeah, but this one seems uh, like it's not at all like it's the there. It would as if it was made by someone who isn't in on the joke. Conquer is obviously made <laughs> as a, like they expressly are constantly always calling out the fact that it is a joke. But this one here, right. it was going for a different vibe. Uh, I think that's kind of funny, but once again. Maybe not my thing. 